Lasso Lou and Cowboy McCoy by Barbara Larman Failing with pictures by Ted Arnold. McCoy needed a new hat. He went to the store to get one. Do you have a hat for me? McCoy asked the hat man. We have all kinds of hats, said the hat man. A person's hat shows what he does. What kind of hat do you want? I just want a hat that fits, said McCoy. Here's a firefighter hat, said the hat man. Does that fit? McCoy tried it on. Too big, he said. I guess I'm not going to put out fires. Here's a sailor hat, said the hat man. Does that fit? Too small, said McCoy. I guess I'm not going to sail the seas. Here's a chef hat, said the hat man. Does that fit? Too droopy, said McCoy. I guess I'm not going to cook for a crowd. McCoy tried on a safari hat, a coonskin cap, a straw hat, and a sombrero. Too hard, too furry, too itchy, too wide, proclaimed McCoy. He tried almost every cap and hat in the store. Nothing fit. McCoy spotted one more hat on the high shelf. Hey! How about that one? he asked. That's a cowboy hat, said the hat man. Are you a cowboy? I don't know, said McCoy. Let's see. The hat man placed the hat firmly on McCoy's head. It was not too big. It was not too small. It was not too droopy. It was not too hard, furry, itchy, or wide. It fits, cried McCoy. I must be a cowboy. McCoy paid for the hat and a spiffy new pair of boots. Then he ran out of the store. I am Cowboy McCoy, he shouted. Which way to the ranch? Another cowboy came rushing down the street. I am Lasso Lou, he said. I am running to catch the stagecoach for the Bodio Ranch. Why don't you come with me? Yahoo ka said Cowboy McCoy. We can be cowboys together. Bumpity bumpity thump thump, the stagecoach dropped Lasso Lou and Cowboy McCoy at the Bodio Ranch. Lasso Lou and Cowboy McCoy watched the foreman, Smelly Mel, lead horses into the corral. A horse nuzzled Lasso Lou. I choose this horse, he said. Which one do you want, McCoy? I don't want one, said Cowboy McCoy. McCoy, said Lasso Lou. A cowboy must have a horse. I want seven horses, explained Cowboy McCoy. A cowboy only has one horse, said Lasso Lou. Well then, said Cowboy McCoy, I'll just use your lasso and choose my one horse right now. Cowboy McCoy tossed the lasso into the air. It landed on Smelly Mel. You can't ride Smelly Mel, cried Lasso Lou. You're right, said Cowboy McCoy. He swung the lasso again. This time it landed on a chicken. You can't ride a chicken, cried Lasso Lou. Hmm, probably not, said Cowboy McCoy. He tried again. The lasso landed on a pig. You can't ride a pig, cried Lasso Lou. Well, maybe I can, said Cowboy McCoy. The pig squealed and took off across the corral. And so did Cowboy McCoy. The pig squealed and ran through a mud puddle. And so did Cowboy McCoy. He let go and he clamped his hat firmly on his head. I do not want to ride a pig, he said. Nice try, partner, said Lou as he picked up the lasso. He swung it over his head, whoosh, whoomp, and landed on the horse. Do you like this horse, he asked. Cowboy McCoy smiled. She's nice. I will call my horse Hero, said Lasso Lou. And I will call my horse Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, said Cowboy McCoy. That takes too long to say, said Lasso Lou. I know, what day is your favorite day, said Lasso Lou. Payday, said Cowboy McCoy. The day we get paid for being cowboys. Payday, that's a fine name, McCoy, said Lasso Lou. Yahoo-a-roo, cried Cowboy McCoy. I have my horse. Now I am a real cowboy. Do you know how to ride a horse? asked Lasso Lou. Of course I do, said Cowboy McCoy.
Cowboy McCoy put his hands in the stirrups. Lou, he said, I can't get on this saddle. You have to put your feet in the stirrups, said Lasso Lou. If I put my feet in the stirrups, I'll step on my hands, Cowboy McCoy explained. Your hands do not go in the stirrups, Lasso Lou cried. Your feet go in the stirrups, and you need to sit on top of Payday. Lou, said Cowboy McCoy, Payday's head is missing. Payday's head is at the front of the horse, said Lasso Lou. No, it's not, declared Cowboy McCoy, and a cowboy cannot ride a horse with a missing head. I think you are facing the wrong way, McCoy, said Lasso Lou. Cowboy McCoy got off Payday. He found the front of his horse, then he climbed back on top. Ready, called Lasso Lou. Ready, said Cowboy McCoy. Now how do we make them go and stop? We say giddy up for go and whoa for stop, Lasso Lou said. Yahoo Magoo, shouted Cowboy McCoy. Giddy up! Glump, glump, glump. Payday and Hero galloped across the prairie. Lou, cried, cried Cowboy McCoy. How do you say this is the scariest ride of my life and I wanted to stop right now? Say whoa, said Lasso Lou. Whoa, cried Cowboy McCoy. Hero and Payday stopped. Lou, said Cowboy McCoy. Yes, McCoy. How do you say I want to go back to the Bodio Ranch and eat toasted marshmallows and cowboy punch? Great idea, partner, said Lasso Lou. Just say giddy up. Giddy up, yelled Cowboy McCoy. Yahoo la poo, now we're ready to ride. Glump, glump, glump. It was bedtime at the Bodio Ranch. Coo-hoo, coo-hoo, snort, snort. Many tired cowboys snored in their bunks. Lasso Lou was in the bottom bunk. Cowboy McCoy was on top. Good night, McCoy, said Lasso Lou. Good night, Lou, said Cowboy McCoy. Suddenly, Cowboy McCoy jumped down from his bunk. There's something scary up there. What is it? asked Lasso Lou. I do not know, said Cowboy McCoy, but it is bumpy as a hill. Is it a hill? asked Lasso Lou. No, said Cowboy McCoy, because it is also humpy as a camel. Is it a camel? asked Lasso Lou. No, said Cowboy McCoy, because it is also lumpy as oatmeal. Is it oatmeal? asked Lasso Lou. No, said Cowboy McCoy, because it is much scarier than oatmeal. You have a bumpy, humpy, lumpy thing in your bunk, said Lasso Lou. Yes, cried Cowboy McCoy, and please get it before it bites me. He dove under the covers of Lasso Lou. Lasso Lou thought and thought. Suddenly, Cowboy McCoy screamed, There it is! It followed me! Lasso Lou stared at the scary thing. McCoy, did you take off your boots? A cowboy never takes off his boots, declared Cowboy McCoy. A cowboy always takes off his boots when it's time for bed, explained Lasso Lou. Cowboy McCoy climbed back up into the bunk. Thud, his boots crashed to the floor. Lou, said Cowboy McCoy. Yes, said Lasso Lou. That bumpy, humpy, lumpy thing is gone. That's good, partner, said Lasso Lou. Lou, said Cowboy McCoy. Yes, said Lasso Lou. It's hard to sleep in my hat, said Cowboy McCoy. You can take that off too, McCoy, said Lasso Lou. You're still a real cowboy. Are you sure? asked Cowboy McCoy. Yes, said Lasso Lou. I'm sure. Good night, Lou, said Cowboy McCoy. Good night, McCoy, said Lasso Lou. The end.